both virtual image as well as real image. So, if we'll take a Kantian mirror, if we'll place the object between F and understanding pole, or else pole and F, in that situation alone, it will form a virtual magnified image. Is it a or no? And remaining all the cases, wherever we'll place at F, we at F, we see the sense of in between F1 to F, or at the 2F, or beyond 2F, or at infinity, wherever we'll place the object, the image formed by the concave mirror is a real image. Understand? And as we know that depend upon the location, it will form a diminished image as well as it is magnified real image. So whenever we are saying real image, it is always inverted and it is forming in front of the mirror. So as well as whenever we are seeing virtual image, the image is forming behind the mirror. So that is what we have studied. So now, let us come to here. Good morning, all of you. Those who join now. Good morning, everyone. So now let us come to here. Then we will go for the second type of mirror. That is only called as convex mirror. So the first point which we should remember is convex mirror also is to called as what we should call diverging mirror. Diverging what? mirror. So it is a diverging mirror. Diverging mirror. See here, concept is very very less but the numericals is only very difficult. So how many of you solved yesterday? I have given one more derivation for uh, uh, for magnification. Have you derived it? Have you derived it? Yes or no? You have not derived, yes. correct? Yes, so, sir. So today, I will teach you that uh, after this one. So let us discuss that. You remember always, Convex mirror is always called as diverging mirror and directly I am saying you, it will never form a real image. Convex mirror, mirror if you are seeing, convex mirror will never form real image, always it will form virtual, virtual image, understand, virtual, erect and as well as, remember, it is always a diminished image, whatever it is. Diminished image. So wherever you are seeing the object location, whatever it is, doesn't matter. So finally, at the end of this, whenever you are seeing a mirror, convex mirror in the question, so always you should write, it is always virtual erect and diminished image. And you remember, location of the image is also, will never go behind, it will form behind the mirror, but always between P and F. Do you understand, Amma? Always the image location is also where? In between? P and F. Understanding. That is what very, very important. So now, if we place the object at infinity, image will form at earth focus. From infinity we are coming forward, then the image also will move towards to the pole. That's all. If you are moving away from the pole object, then the image will move towards the focus. If you are moving, if you are coming closer to the pole from the infinity, then the image will move towards to the understanding, towards to the pole. That is what you should remember. If you are going away from the pole, object is moving away from the pole. If you imagine, this is the convex mirror. Remember. If you are moving away from the pole, object is moving away from the pole, then the image will move towards to the focus. If you are moving, object is moving towards the pole, then the image will move also towards the pole. Do you understand, Ra? Yes, sir. So, object image, uh, the image formed by this form, the convex mirror will never form understanding, real image, as well as it will form virtual erect and always diminished image that is also always where it is between p and f that is also where beyond mirror where it is ma beyond mirror that is what they should remember do you understand or not i love you if anybody is in doubt you can ask them so that is what uh, we are yeah. now let us see the rules of training understand rules of training uh for Images formed by a convex mirror. So first rule, if it comes to here, as we know, it is diverging mirror. Yes sir, no. Kevin, good morning, Ra. Remaining friends, you please make a call. Still so many not at joint. Parshini Benchi joined today. Parmavarshini not at joint. Prasini, 
So many is not there. So okay, you can make a call. Right. First rule. So in order to understand, construct ray diagrams to find out the position, nature, and the size of the image formed by a convex mirror, we should remember path of the understanding, paths of the a few rays. So then we can call them as uh, rules for obtaining images uh, formed by a convex mirror. So first one, if we take rule number one, first to listen. Remember, later I will give the notes. Rule number one, if you will take, all of you observe. So if it, as you know that convex mirror means which surface is reflecting surface now? Bulging out surface is reflecting and bent in surface is non-reflecting. Is it yes or no? Nobody is responding. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Convex mirror. So bulging out surface is reflecting surface and bending surface is non-reflecting surface. So the first one is, remember, it is having virtual focus or real focus. That is what I want. It is the focus we have taken behind the mirror or in front of the mirror? Behind the mirror. Is it behind the mirror. Yeah, behind the mirror. Behind the mirror. To focus. Sure. Convex means focal length and fo focus is positive always. So let us take the principal axis now. So this is the principal axis. So if we take it here, understand. So let me insert the incident ray, which is parallel to the principal axis. What is that amount? Which is parallel to the principal axis. So the reflected light ray, you remember, the reflected light ray will be diverged away from that. But we will feel that it is coming from its focus. The reflected light ray is coming from where, Amma? Coming from focus. it? Focus. Focus. After reflection from the mirror. Remember, a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis of a convex mirror appears to be coming, appears to be coming, understand it, from its focus after reflection from the mirror. That is what you should remember. So, this is a reflected ray. What we should call it, Amma? This is reflected ray. And this is called as what? Anybody? A ray of light parallel to axis. A ray of light parallel. Parallel to which axis now? Parallel to? Principal axis. axis. Principal axis. Principal axis. Principal axis. So, that is the rule number one. So everybody must remember this. So let us insert, insert the incident ray is AB. AB is the incident ray and the reflected ray is AD. So that is what? Understanding. So reflected ray. Are you understanding or not? So this is the rule number one. So the light ray which is parallel to the principal axis will appear to be reflected and it is coming from where? Coming from behind the focus. mirror. Focus. Okay. So that is what the rule number one. All of you, do you understand or not? Yes, sir? Yes. yes. So next, second yes. rule number two. All of you should remember. It is very, very easy. So the rule number two is, uh, later I will do notes. Now you don't do that. Rule number two is, again you take the convex mirror. Understanding. Again, same thing. So principal axis and all. So as you know that, virtual focus and virtual center of curvature. So this is what principal axis and four. So now, what is the rule number two means? A ray of light going towards to the center of curvature means in the sense of like this. The ray of light which is going towards the center of curvature of a convex mirror is reflected back along the same path is reflected back along the same path without any deviation. So that understanding, do you understand Amma? We will feel that the reflected back along the same path and we will feel that it is going through center of curvature. Do you understand or not? Yes. That is what yes, is So let me insert the incident ray AD and the reflected ray also DA. Understand? So a ray of light going towards the center of curvature, towards the center of curvature, it feels that it will be, understand, after striking, after striking, so we can see that the center of curvature of a convex mirror is reflecting back along the same path. Do you understand, Amma? Yes, that is what the rule number two. All of you, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. So that is the rule number two. Now, 
Let us go for rule number three. So now, again, if you we'll take convex mirror, convex mirror, mind you should remember, principal axis, focus, and center of curvature. Do you understand, Amma? So now, it is just opposite to the rule number one. So what is the rule number one? Can anybody say? What is the rule number one? Rule number one. It's like parallel to the appears to be appears to the focus. Is it yes or no? Will appears to be going through the focus. Now just opposite to that. If you we'll insert the incident ray, which is feels that going through the focus. Understand? So what will happen? What will happen right here? Parallel. Parallel. Yeah. Parallel to the principal. Yeah, it will become parallel to the principal axis. So let me insert. So we will face that incident ray is going to the focus. Then after striking, let me imagine that A is the incident ray. Understand? So a ray of light going towards to the focus, towards to the focus of a convex mirror becomes parallel to the principal axis. Understand? Parallel to the principal axis after reflection. So let me take that reflected light ray is easy. Are you understanding, Ra? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Rule number three. Understanding? Rule number one, parallel to the principal axis will appear to be going through the focus. Reflected light ray will go in through the focus. Next, second one, which is going through the center of curvature will go again. Like back at the same what? So, which will feel that, that it is going through the center of curvature, the reflected light ray will go back again the same path without any deviation. And the rule number three, the ray of light going towards the focus, going towards the focus, understanding of a convex mirror becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection. That is a rule number three. Now, Last rule number. Can you able to say? Last rule number. Rule number one. Rule number four. Rule number four. Anybody? It is a similar to the con concave mirror, which is exactly inserted at the pole. What pole. will happen? Which is exactly inserted at the pole. Anybody? Which is inserted at the pole. What will happen to the jelly bun? Nobody is answering. It will reflect back in the same angle. Ah, suppose. It will reflect back. back. The convex mirror. All of you should remember. So, rule number four will say that if you are inserting the incident ray exactly at the pole, what will happen? That is what I am asking. Pole. Pole. It will Imagine. reflect back, back in the same angle. So, when inserting means in the sense of it will be looks like a plane mirror. So as we know that plane mirror, understanding, if you insert the incident ray at some angle, what will happen? The reflected ray will go with the same angle. Yes or no? All of you? Yes, yes, sir. So that is what the rule number four. Everybody must remember that. Understand? So here if you observe, the rule number four is a ray of light which is incident at the pole of a convex mirror. At the pole of a convex mirror. Hey, this rule is will never change. Ra. Mirror or uh, concave or convex mirror doesn't matter. This rule is same. So let me insert the incident ray is AP. AP is the incident ray. So after striking, understand, uh, incident ray at the pole of a convex mirror, what will happen? The reflected back by making the same angle with the principal axis. By making the same angle with the principal axis, that is only angle of reflection is equal to angle of incident. Do you understand, Ra? Yes or no? Yes. So let me imagine yes, yes. the reflected ray is AP and the reflected ray is AH. So if we we'll take here, so the angle of incident which is equal to angle of reflection. So this is what the four rules which is useful to obtain the images formed by convex mirror. Is there any doubt anybody you can ask me. You have to remember this four while, while drawing the ray diagrams of this one. But the good thing is here we have only two cases, the only two images formed by the convex, the convex mirror. So that is what we will study now. So do you understand any doubt in this rules anybody?
Anybody, if you have doubt, you just ask me. For rule number one, which is inserted parallel to the principal axis, will appear to going through the focus, going through the focus. But here you see, this is virtual focus. That is why you have to mention with what? Dotted lines. All of you should remember that. You have to mention with the dotted lines. First one, rule number one. Next, second one. This is the known rule to us. The light ray which is going through the focus, uh, sorry, going through the center of curvature will appear to be again going back into the same path without any deviation. That is the rule number two. Next, rule number three, Vatra. The light ray which is inserted, understand how it is? A ray of light which is going through the focus, which is going towards to the focus. Parallel to the principal axis after reflection. After reflection, it will become parallel to the principal axis. And like that, rule number four, a ray of light which is incident at the pole, which is incident at the pole of a convex mirror is reflected back, is reflected back, making the same angle with the principal axis. So these are the four rules which will be useful to obtain the images of it. But here you remember, always it should be noted that a convex mirror has its focus and center, center of curvature, where behind, behind the mirror or in front of the mirror? You can observe everywhere. Behind the mirror or in front of the mirror? Behind the mirror. Huh? Behind the mirror. And always they are in positive x coordinate. So that is the reason you can see Understand, we can say always a convex mirror is having virtual focus, so that is why it is always positive or negative? Positive or negative? Positive. Yep, positive. Always positive. Everybody, positive. those who joined now, those who absent last class, everybody must remember. So F is always positive whenever we are seeing prasini. Remember, F is positive whenever you are say you are seeing. Understand? Convex mirror, convex mirror, F is always positive. That is what our mind should say, first point. Everybody should remember that. F is positive always for convex mirror. Do you understand, Amma? Yes? I love yes. you right now. Yes, sir. Rule number one. I love you right, rule number one. Rule number one. A ray of light, a ray of a ray of light, a ray of light, which is parallel to the principal axis. All of you should write. Without writing, without drawing, you will never become experts in ray diagrams. Unless until we have to do a lot of practice. That is why you be very smart, make a ready with a pencil, eraser and all. Whenever I will say, you have to draw fastly. First, I like that is only. And this week I will keep exam. Let me see like a uh, time-based exam. 40 seconds, 20 seconds like that. Within that, you should say the characteristics of images formed by the mirror. Understanding mirrors alone, I will keep this week exam. So like ex expert in the sense of all the numericals only. I don't want values. Only positions and uh, images formed by magnified or real, that is all. Let me see the test of your knowledge, okay? Right, rule number one. All of you keep adding. Rule one. A ray of light, a ray of light, which is parallel to the principal axis. A ray of light, which is parallel to the principal axis. Which is parallel to the principal axis. Which is parallel to the principal axis. Pranav, call to Arun Karthikeyanra. Arun Karthikeyan is missing. Call him. A ray of light okay, uh, which is parallel to the principal axis of a convex mirror. Of a convex mirror. Appears to be coming from where? Coming from? Appears focus. To coming from where? Coming from it? Focus after reflection from the mirror. Right. A ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis, 
which is parallel to the principal axis of a convex mirror of a convex mirror of a convex mirror comma appears to be coming from its appears to be coming from its appears to be coming from its focus appears to be coming from its focus after reflection from the mirror after reflection from the mirror after reflection from the mirror understand all of you that is our rule number 1 uh, okay pranav no issues you carry on that is so now below that use two pens no problem because it is our class work if you have a two pens black and blue or uh, red and uh, blue you can use two pens all of you draw this red diagram below it you have to draw this carry on fastly neatly you should draw perfectly and fastly you should draw so this is the fourth rule number 1 which is inserted parallel to the principal axis will appears to be coming from understand the reflected light ray will appears to be coming from the focus that is one all of you should make it fast once if it is completed you have to but naming is most important all of you should remember without naming the ray diagram is invalid i am saying you again In the incident ray name should be there. Reflected ray name should be there. So what is the incident ray here? Can anybody say what is the incident ray here? E B is the incident ray. Understand? What is the reflected ray here? Anybody? Dilip, Arya. B B B B C. B B not B D not E B. Remember always from the. In, while inserting from this side we should go while reflecting from that point we should go from the reflected point so at which point the mirror is uh, reflecting here can you able to say what is the point of reflection here at which point the reflection is taking place b. at point b that is what you should remember right once it is completed you tell me or completed ra no sir perfectly draw perfectly rules because rules is most important for us pranita do it do it Completed. How much time? Complete, sir. Complete, sir. Next rule number two, right? All of you, right? Rule number two. Rule two. You have to keep adding rule two. Right. A ray of light. A ray of light going towards to the a ray of light going towards to the center of curvature. A ray of light going towards to the center of curvature. A ray of light going towards to the center of curvature. Going towards to the center of curvature of a convex mirror. Of a convex mirror, a ray of light going towards the center of curvature of a convex mirror is reflected back. Is reflected back along the same path. Is reflected back along the same path. Is reflected back along the same path. Is reflected back. Along the same path. 
the ray of light going towards the center of curvature of a convex mirror of a convex mirror is reflected back is reflected back along the same path along the same path all of you draw this neatly perfect they draw Completed. Completed, sir. Hmm. Next rule rule three. All of you write it. Rule three. Rule three. A ray of light. A ray of light. A ray of light. Going towards to the focus. A ray of light. Going towards to the focus, going towards to the focus of a convex mirror, of a convex mirror, of a convex mirror, of a convex mirror becomes parallel to the principal axis, becomes parallel to the principal axis, a ray of light going towards to the focus. of a convex mirror of a convex mirror becomes parallel to the principal axis becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection after reflection after reflection that is rule number 3 so this is just opposite to the what rule number 1 all of you should do that is right it draw this diagram below it so can you see again okay right a ray of light going towards so those who completed you draw no problem a ray of light going towards the focus going towards the focus of a convex mirror of a convex mirror becomes parallel to the principal axis becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection after reflection draw this diagram if you have doubt you please ask me anybody this is a rule number rule number 3 Once it is completed, you tell me. Completed, sir. Completed. 
So, okay. Next, rule number four. Rule number four. A ray of light, a ray of light, which is incident at the, which is incident at the, a ray of light, which is incident at the, which is incident at the, pole of a convex mirror pole of a convex mirror pole of a convex mirror is reflected back is reflected back is reflected back back making the same angle making the same angle is reflected back making the same angle with the principal axis with the principal axis with the principal axis a ray of light which is incident at the 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 pole of a convex mirror pole of a convex mirror is reflected back is reflected back making the same angle making the same angle with the principal axis making the same angle with the principal axis with the principal axis. So draw this diagram. All of you should draw this diagram. Maintain proper nodes. Remember, then only we can do whatever we want. Understand me? And the main thing you remember, this is maybe a corona year, and last year may be a corona year, but this is not your future. That is what, because last year and this year is very important for our uh, next uh, plus one and plus two. That is why maybe others may neglect and so many are maybe not studying well. So that is don't compare with them. Those who are working hard, you, you have to compare with them and you have to do more better than them. So how it will come with the hard work only. We have to do if it is corona or not, doesn't matter because it is not going to be continue like the next uh, 50 years or 100 years, correct? Maybe hardly this year. But it should not be effect on our future life. That is what you should remember. Do it fast. We have to be more dedicated now because our future will be decided with the help of this only. Don't compare with your friends, I'm saying you. If they will study or not, doesn't matter. You compare yourselves. How I need to work hard. Class 9th, I have wasted time fully. Is it at least class 10th, I should study well? That is what you have to be. Once it is completed, you tell me. Once it is completed, you keep note and you write. Note and you write it. Two points, I will say. Important points it is. Completed? Yes. Hmm. All of you write first point. Meeting will be end again. Please rejoin fastly. Don't uh, leave from the meeting. Write first point. Note, a convex mirror has its focus. Note, a convex mirror has its focus. Note, a convex mirror has its focus. Has its focus. Has its focus and the center of curvature and the center of curvature behind it behind it behind it behind it that is the first point second point first point 
a convex mirror has its focus and center of curvature behind it. That is first point. Second point, no real rays of light, no real rays of light, no real rays of light, no real rays of light can go behind the mirror, can go behind the mirror, can go behind the mirror, can go behind the mirror of a convex mirror, behind the convex mirror, behind the convex mirror, comma, all the rays, all the rays, all the rays, all the rays should